Imagine waking up to an extra $500 in your bank account without ever stepping foot outside of your home. Sounds amazing, right? Do you know you can actually do this by selling your AI-created images on Wirestock? Wirestock is making waves in the market for how simple it makes uploading AI images to many different stock websites. The way it works is you only have to upload on Wirestock and it will upload on other websites. Today, I am going to guide you on how to sell AI images on Wirestock. So stick around till the end of this video to know my opinion on how much money you can make with Wirestock. What is Wirestock? Let's run through Wirestock together to familiarize you with the platform. If you go to Wirestock, you'll find a rundown of it. As you scroll down, you'll see different marketplaces where Wirestock helps upload your AI images. Some of the major players they work with are Getty Images, Adobe Stock, Shutterstock, Alamy, and Pond5, along with Freepik, Deposit Photos, iStock, and Dreams Time. If you go through all these marketplaces one by one to sell your images, each one will require you to sign up, complete forms, and take large percentages of your earnings. Wirestock basically simplifies your work by bringing all the marketplaces together. And the best thing about Wirestock is they only keep 15% of your money when you get paid for selling your images. The remaining 85% belongs to you, a good amount compared to other platforms charging 40% to 60%. Let's jump right into the process of how you can earn money with Wirestock. Step 1. The first thing you need to do is create multiple AI images. You can use whichever website you're comfortable with. I like using Midjourney. Just go to Midjourney and log into your account. Then simply put in a prompt like French House with Lake and Aspect Ratio 3 is to 2. As you can see, Midjourney has produced amazing results in less than a minute. You'll see that Midjourney has cleverly made some impressive AI images using just a handful of words as a prompt. Amazing, right? Select the image that you like and then upscale the image. Once the image is ready, Next, you'll want to click Open in Browser. Now click on the Download icon to download the image. Head back to Midjourney and put in another prompt, Woman dressed in elegant coat staring at neon robots, war, destroyed buildings, fire, foggy daytime, natural color grade, cinematic lighting, style Gregory Crudson and aspect ratio 3 is to 2. Upscale the image that you like. Open it Browser and click on Download. Put in prompt, a beautiful high detailed photograph of heavy rain, 1989 Manhattan Nye Street Magenta phone booth at neon lights, night style, Gregory Crudson, portrait depth of field, 50mm sigma and aspect ratio 3 is to 2. Create multiple images like this in the mid journey and download them. Step 2. Ok, so you've got the image downloaded. Here's the deal. You won't be able to upload this on any marketplace or Wirestock. It's because the dimensions of this image are a bit too small. You can check it yourself. Go to File Explorer and right click on the image you downloaded. Then click on Properties and go to Details. It's 1344x896 which is a low resolution. So the next step is to make its size bigger. There's quite a variety of upscaling tools out there, but I'm going to show you this intriguing tool that's really versatile and can be used for all sorts of tasks. Visit TinyWow and click on the search bar. Type in Upscale Image and hit Enter. Then upload your picture, select Increase 4x and press the Upscale button. Finally, click on Download and then Save to Device. To check whether the image is upscaled, go to File Explorer and right-click on the image. Click on Properties and see if the dimensions have changed. It's 5376 x 3584. If you don't know, Wirestock doesn't allow uploading images in PNG format. For this, you have to change the image format to JPG. Head back to TinyWow. Type PNG to JPG on the search bar and press enter. Upload the image. Once the picture is ready, just click on download and save to device. As you can see, you have the image in JPG format. Step 3. Head over to Wirestock. I've already signed into my account. Now just click on the upload button and select the image you want to use. Once you've uploaded the picture, you'll notice a couple of choices on your right. Select if this is AI generated content. 
Click on Select the AI tool and choose Mid Journey. Next, there are Marketplace settings. Here, you need to decide if you want to go with an easy or manual upload. When you pick the manual option, you'll need to fill in a few things like description, title, category, and tags. However, if you go with the easy option, you don't have to add anything. Click on Post once you're ready. As you can see, the image is now posted on my account in Gallery. It is ready to be sold. Whenever someone buys my image, I will get paid. Click on the image. Scroll down over on the right. You'll notice information about where my images are displayed. Whenever someone purchases your image on any platform, you'll be able to see which platform they use to buy it. On the left click under Post Details, click on See More. Once your image is approved, Wirestock will add tags and necessary details about the image here. Now you know how convenient it is to make money with Wirestock. It's a single platform where you can showcase your AI images to other marketplaces without spending time signing up and filling out forms to get started with each platform. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I will share my thoughts on how much money you can make with Wirestock. Originally, this website was set up to be free, allowing users to post up to 30 submissions every month. However, as more people learn about AI art and begin producing incredible images in bulk, it has become challenging for Wirestock to manage the traffic. As a result, Wirestock now limits free users to only five submissions each month. So how much money can you make with its free version? While it's true that having only five submissions per month might not seem as advantageous, remember, every opportunity counts and you could still make some cash. Additionally, there's always the option to upgrade to the paid plan, which allows you to upload many more images and offers better service. One small downside of using the free version is that it might take several days or even weeks for your submissions to get approved. If you're looking to make steady money, then Wirestock Premium might be just the right fit for you. If you're looking for more versatility in uploading multiple images per month to different websites, you might want to check out Xpix. It enables you to upload multiple images simultaneously to various websites. The only downside of using Xpix is that you will need to manually link all the websites where you want to upload your images. However, don't worry, as this is only a one-time process. I really hope you enjoyed our journey today into making money from the comfort of your home. Now don't miss out. There's a video right here on your screen, specially picked for you. It's packed with fresh, effective ideas for multiplying your online income. Trust me, this one's a game changer. Click and see for yourself.